hi you guys welcome back to my channel i know it has been a minute since i have last made a video but as you saw from the title today's video is going to be a luxury sale i have purchased some things now that sale season is kind of coming to an end so if you want to see what i purchased this season from all of the amazing sales that i'm sure you two participated in then just keep watching this is a dress that you would have seen in my like spring summer 20 favorite trends and designers I would buy under that trend video. This is a dress that I did feature in that video and I wasn't sure if I was going to invest in this dress because A, it was quite expensive and honestly it's definitely more funky and kitschy than what I am used to investing in. Nonetheless, I kept my eye on it throughout the months and I ended up getting it, I want to say for 50% off and I am so glad that I got my hands on it. It is unlike any Thing that I have in my wardrobe and honestly you guys I'm just obsessed with this as you can see it has a beautiful square neckline which we love around here I think square necklines are so flattering we also know how much I adore a puffy sleeve always and forever will I love a good puffy strong shoulder situations and last but not least if you're new around here then you might not know how much we love because yes it is a community love um, how much we love oversized dresses oversized frocks moo's house dresses house gowns whatever you want to call it we love a good oversized dress she's a lot more kitschy and like out there than what i'm used to i guess investing in especially for the price that it was but i really do not regret getting this dress i think it's so fun it's so unusual i have not seen anyone on pinterest on instagram with this dress which to be honest, makes it that much better because sometimes you just don't want what everyone else has, if we're just being honest. The only thing that it is missing is pockets. Um, I feel like the pockets would have just taken it to the next level, but it's fine. I love it nonetheless. And it has this beautiful bow detailing in the back, which I am also just as obsessed with and do not at all regret getting. Also, totally forgot, um, she retails for $900. I know, I know, I didn't, I didn't set the price, you guys. But it was around about $900 retail. As I said in the video previously where I first featured it, not paying that much. Um, and there is just something to know about me, you guys. When it comes to luxury ready-to-wear, um, I rarely pay full price. When it comes to a bag or shoes or even certain accessories, I may, you know, save up and invest in something. But when it comes to ready-to-wear, meaning clothing, it is rare that I will pay full price. So I want to say I got this from Net-A-Porter for... 55% off it was still a pretty penny it was still expensive don't get me wrong but definitely a price point that I was obviously um, much more willing to pay and the quality fits the price point maybe not necessarily the retail price point I don't necessarily know that I would have been super happy to have paid the retail price but for the quality and the price that I got it for I think it is hands down an amazing investment this is something that i know once i continue to style it up i do feel more comfortable in the different ways i can get my cost per wear out of that so that's just something to know and i will try to um, remember to include all of the prices um, or the discounts that i got for everything but yeah this is my new regina pew dress and you guys i am ah, obsessed so good Quick intermission, I apologize for the lighting change. My ring light literally just decided to stop working. Um, I don't know why. So if it's a little darker, I apologize. But yeah, things happen. Moving right along. So while I still have this dress on, I'm going to show you two of the four accessories that I picked up. 
Um, I haven't worn these, I haven't shown them anywhere, and I just got them in the mail actually a couple of days ago. And so excited to have these in my collection because I actually don't have anything yet, well, besides these, obviously, um, from this particular designer. Um, so the first thing are these Bottega Veneta sunglasses, and yes, they are a beautiful forest green, and I am beyond obsessed you guys they are so good and I just can't so these are a pair of sunglasses that I recently purchased from Matches Fashion. I love shopping at Matches Fashion when it comes to luxury brands, contemporary designers. They tend to have the best prices that I have seen when it comes to luxury online worldwide retailers. I love Matches Fashion. I actually had these in my wish list for maybe about a month or so and the price point really wasn't bad considering how much I have seen, you know, some luxury sunglasses glasses go up to I want to say they were $300 or like $290 really not bad at all but I had them in my wish list just you know waiting for the right day and of course let me know down below if you guys are like me where you will have something in your wish list and you want it but you're just waiting for I don't know a random day to buy it and then when it sells out you really want to get it so of course they sold out and I was that much more pressed to get it because they sold out so I'm checking every day, checking every day. They came back in stock, so I purchased them full price. Please tell me why, legit six days later, not even a week later, they ended up going on sale for I think like $205, I kid you not. So, because I am a girl who was always going to get the best bang for my buck, I ended up purchasing the ones that were on sale and returning the ones that I paid full price for. And listen, do not judge me because if you don't take advantage of certain things like that, then girl, you're losing. Just saying. So I say all that to say I got these on sale and I am beyond excited about them. And then I will quickly show you guys the accessory that I also purchased from Match Fashion. But you guys, I can't. I'm sorry. Who are you talking to? Oh. Okay, I thought you were talking to me, but I guess not. When it comes to sunglasses, I typically do more oversized because I have a big head. Um, but if it is the right cat eye, I feel like it also balances out the shape of my big head. I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys also have a big head and you agree with that. Um, but yeah, I am so obsessed with these, you guys. I just can't. And I know I keep saying that, but they're just so good. And the fact that I got them for the price that I did, even better. So moving along to the next accessory, I also purchased from Mashes Fashion a pair of, or a sunglasses chain. These are by the brand Frame Chain. I actually initially came across these on Essence um, during the sale and I regret not getting the pair that I initially saw on sale because of course they sold out and everywhere else that sells them is still full price. I saw that Matches Fashion was selling them so I decided to get this pair which as you can see I'll come a little closer as you can see is like this really cool old school rope detail which I am very much so here for um, obviously you can wear them down to the front or wear it hanging down in the front you can also kind of drape it behind you which is probably more so the way I would wear it um, and you guys these are just so good and I know that sunglasses, um, sunglass chains are like a really big trend at the moment, but there's just something that's very classic, very um, old school, Betty White, Golden Girls about it. But yeah, I'm really into these and I definitely will be purchasing another pair. I just don't want to pay the price because they are pretty expensive. I want to say this one was $80. Um, I think that's the cheaper price point that I've seen for the overall collection from Frame Chain. The pair that I do have my eye on are like $200 and I'm just not willing to pay that much money on a chain essentially for your sunglasses. So for now, this is 
one of my accessories that I will be adding to so many of my sunglasses. And speaking of sunglasses, I might as well just show you guys the next pair. Now this is something um, I didn't purchase during sale season. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow my blog, which you should, ChanelFiles.com, um, then you would have seen these sunglasses several times over. They're not new, but they are very classic old Celine and they are white cat eye sunglasses. And you guys, yet again, they're so bomb. I just, I know you guys are so probably over hearing me say that I can't, but I can't this. They're so good. And um, these are for sure from the Phoebe Philo collection. I want to say this was a part of her last collection, which I think was 2018. I could be lying, but I'm pretty sure that it was 2018. And they are just classic white or maybe like a cream color pair of sunglasses that I'm just so here for. And they just, with my complexion, they're just the perfect contrast and they're just so good so i won't spend too much time on these but i wanted to share these here on youtube because why not and like i said i've been wearing them all over my instagram all over my blog um so you would have seen these several times over but i just figured for the sake of sharing it on youtube these are my new old celine cat eye sunglasses all right you guys so moving right along i'm going to quickly show you guys what i am wearing which I know I've said it a hundred times, but if you follow my blog, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know the details. Um, quickly, this necklace is by the brand Toem. I actually had the gold version of this necklace with the single white seashell, um, which I did wear in a previous blog post, but it actually ended up chipping, which is crazy considering the price point um, that this necklace is. So I ended up returning it and I got this version instead, which I love and literally cannot stop wearing um so yeah i will have this link down below also i did get it on sale but the retail price is super expensive and it definitely should not have chipped for as expensive as it was so that is the details on this necklace but moving right along to a piece that i'm so beyond excited to have in my wardrobe you guys know for how long now i have been wanting to invest in and have been stalking the designer cecile benson and can we just take a moment and and also acknowledge the fact that I took the time to research how to properly pronounce her name because I have not been calling sis by the name her mother gave her. She is pronounced Cecile Benson. So yay, shout out to me. But yeah, I finally, you guys, ended up getting not one, but two Cecile Benson dresses. I have been stalking her for, I would say, about a year and a half now. Her pieces, as I have mentioned, are very expensive, like wildly expensive however i can vouch for the craftsmanship now i don't necessarily know that i would be willing to pay full price because like i said they are very expensive the starting price point you guys is like twelve hundred dollars for a dress and that is probably for the most basic simple design um and they go up from there so i can't necessarily say that i would vouch to pay that yet but i can say for the price that i got them for and now that i can see them and touch them and try them on and there is something in my eye please hold and like i was saying i can now really vouch for the quality and the craftsmanship but i will say i have a bit of a story time about the second dress so stay tuned for that but for this particular dress um i actually ended up getting this for 55 percent off from an online e-commerce store i had never heard of i had never seen it before um i think it's pronounced toto kaleo i really doubt that i'm pronouncing that correctly i will leave a link to it down below they were selling this dress for 55 percent off i saw it i said hmm okay they had two left this is the moment are you gonna do it are you gonna take the plunge i actually ended up waiting like two weeks before i took the plunge it was right around the fourth of july so i said okay well, let's just wait to see if they offer like an additional, you know, 4th of July coupon that I can add onto the dress. Of course, 
they didn't. So um, maybe like another week later, um, after stalking it every day to make sure that it was still in stock, I decided to just go ahead and get it. And I'm so glad that I did. This particular style, this is probably one of her most popular styles. I feel like every season, whether it's spring, summer, or fall, winter, she does this silhouette just by changing out the materials, of course the colors, and the details of it. You all know we love, again, a good square neckline. We love a puffy sleeve. It is life. And yes, of course, we love a good oversized dress. The one thing I love about this dress, the back. Can we take a moment for the back? So good, you guys. Like, I can't. It's so feminine. It's so unexpected. A lot of designers, when it comes to these oversized dresses, it's just an oversized dress. But I love the fact that she included a cutout in the back. It's so sexy, but yet still very classic and feminine. And we love that. That is just what we do on this channel. We keep it cute, we keep it classic. But we also like to throw in something unexpected every now and again. And that is definitely something that I love. And I don't know you guys, I'm just obsessed with this dress. So very happy to have this piece in my collection. I also love the fact that it is this like nylon, low key like old school swooshy material, which I didn't expect. Honestly, I didn't even look at the materials when I bought the dress. I was just so excited to finally have gotten it. Um, but it was kind of like another unexpected surprise that I'm really into. It moves really well which means things and yeah we are just very pleased with this purchase which if you don't follow me on Instagram, I know I keep saying that, I know it's annoying, but sis, if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Stop this video, go follow me and come back. And you guys, so good. My new vintage Fendi beaded baguette. Take a moment, take in the detail. Are you tired of hearing me say so good? Because girl, it's so good. I love this bag. Um, as I mentioned on my Instagram, I ended up buying this from eBay. And this is actually a vintage bag that I've been researching and trying to get my hands on in different colors and different styles for maybe the past three or four months. People are charging, much like a lot of the vintage Fendi baguettes, because of course they're super stylish, they're very trendy. People were charging like two grand for this bag. And I'm not paying that much when I know like a year and a half or two years ago, I probably could have gotten it for three or four hundred dollars, which I did. I came across a seller who had it up for a bid and the starting price point was like a hundred dollars. So obviously I put it in my watch list and when it came time to really bid for it, I went ham. And the person who was also trying to get the bag also was going ham. But what they did not know, I don't quit. So I ended up getting this bag, you guys, for, I want to say $350, which a steal. I mean, I was willing to go up to like $500 for the bag because again, sellers had been charging $21, $22, $2,300. I hadn't seen this exact colorway, but in other colorways, I had seen this bag for like $2,300, which again, I wasn't willing to pay. But I was willing to go up to $500 and I'm so glad that I didn't have to because why pay that when you can get it for $300? So yeah, very pleased with her. She is my latest bag to my collection. And you guys, I'm actually going to do a sit down video really soon just about like my overall style and where I am right now when it comes to investing in luxury and designer goods. I have pretty much sold almost every luxury bag that I have with the exception of like a couple. I have pretty much sold all of my luxury handbags and will be starting over. But like I said, I can do a whole sit down video um, about that. So let me know down below if that is something you guys would be interested in. Nonetheless, I am happy to have her in my new updated collection. And you guys, the fact that I got her for $300 or maybe 350, I can't remember. Um, 
is even better. So very pleased and honestly for her to be a vintage bag i was a little bit weary um of the condition she would be in i mean obviously the seller had pictures up but when it comes to vintage sometimes you just don't know until you get it but there is pretty much barely any wear. I mean, there definitely are some signs of wear, but it also is a vintage bag. With anything vintage, you're gonna have some signs of wear, and I really don't mind that. So, very, very pleased with this bag, and I'm so happy to style her with Girl, my new dress. How cute. All right, you guys, so last but not least is another Cecile Benson dress. However, I have a story time, and in all transparency, I was not going to include this in this video because I just didn't want to make it seem like I was bashing um, Cecile or Netta Porte. But you know what? It is the reality, as you can see things happen so um i'm gonna be standing very awkwardly as i kind of give you guys the rundown on how that happened and what is kind of being done to fix it so in short i saw this dress on net -a -Porte and it was on sale and i knew um it was something i wanted to get when the price was right the price went down i think it was like 60% off it was still a very expensive investment nonetheless I was willing to buy it bought the dress and as soon as I took it out of the box I could immediately tell first of all it was very heavy or it is very heavy but when I opened it and took it out of the garment bag I said well the straps are really thin to be on such a heavy dress like could no other straps have been put onto this dress and usually what you will find or if you didn't know um when a lot of designers do certain pieces for the runway they will change the design of it when the piece goes into production because it doesn't make sense so this for me is a dress that would have been perfect for runway because of the just daintiness of the straps and how like ethereal and whimsical it is but the reality of it is that different straps should have been put on this dress when the dress went into production because this is a very full a very heavy a very thick dress so when i took it out of the garment bag i said oh not really happy about that but it's fine one day i will take it to my seamstress and i will have her reinforce the straps figure out what we can do so that the weight of the dress does not break the straps fine went to shoot the dress just a couple of days ago you guys i kid you not as i'm walking out of the door literally walking out of the door the strap breaks the back strap breaks off of the dress as i am dressed headed out to shoot this dress okay so thank god as a stylist i have my styling kit um and we pinned the back of the dress and we obviously just shot it in a way that you couldn't see the pins so immediately i called netta porte told them what happened she said send us some pictures so we can see you know what's happening and we'll be in touch with you that was on tuesday today is thursday she said you know give us a couple of days um, and we'll get in touch with you. And actually another person followed up with me via email saying they received the pictures and that they would be in touch. So I haven't heard back. Um, it's been two days. I'm gonna give them until Monday. I wanted to feature this dress because A, it's still a beautiful dress, but I did want to share with you guys that this happens. I've never had any quality um, issues with anything that I purchased from Netta Porte. So I am interested to see how they follow up with this. This was a final sale purchase, but with something like this, if I wanted to return this, there should be absolutely no problem in returning it. Um, I did express to them that I want to keep the dress because I do love the dress. There is nothing like this that I have in my wardrobe and I don't even feel like there's another designer who could do this dress as well as Cecile has done this dress but I am also disappointed in the fact that the strap broke as I should be um this dress retailed I want to say for like 16 or 1700 dollars which is crazy again considering this like this shouldn't happen um I didn't pay that like I said I think I got it for 
maybe 60% off, um, but it was still expensive. And again, like imagine if I did pay retail, are you crazy? Like that absolutely should not have happened. So like I said, I still wanted to feature the dress because I do love the dress. It is still a beautiful dress. I still do believe it is made well. I just think that when it comes to the um, execution as far as the straps for the runway, this is perfect. But in real life, I feel like the straps should have been changed while producing the dress. Nonetheless, I'm gonna show you as much as I can. I am clipped in the back, but as I'm talking, I can feel the clips coming undone. So I'm just going to take a little step back um, and show you as much as I can. You can kind of see the back of it. You guys, again, I'm not angry. I'm not um, super upset. I am just very much so hoping that Netta Corte fixes it, whether I, and I said, well, listen, there's really only two options because I want to keep the dress. So I can either send the dress to you guys and you have your in-house alterations team fix it because they do have an in-house alterations team um, because of the virus I don't know obviously that they are in the office I assume they're not but that's not my problem or I'm willing to take it to my seamstress have her fix it and they compensate me for the cost so I don't know like I said I haven't heard back from them um, but I did again just want to share this because again things happen and like I said I'm not totally utterly you know disgusted in but I do firmly believe that something should be done from them. So I will keep you guys posted, but I did just want to feature the dress because it is still a very beautiful dress and I'm very much so still happy to have the dress. I am just, um, you know, disappointed in the fact that before I even really fully got to wear the dress, the straps broke. But what I can say though, is the body of the dress is made really well. It is Thick, it is heavy that is something that I feel like should be a quality component considering that this did retail for $1,600 or maybe even a little bit more but I am just disappointed in the lack of quality in the straps but I'll keep you guys posted nonetheless I am still very happy with the dress I'm just going to be even happier when it does get fixed all right you guys so that is everything thank you so much for watching if you are not already subscribed to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below also be sure to hit that bell notification so you are notified when i do upload a new video i know i haven't been on here as much and honestly you guys i really haven't been inspired to make youtube content but i am back i am feeling it again and i am excited to crank out some videos so be sure to hit that notification bell down below Low. Also, be sure to follow me over on the gram. Follow my blog, ChanelFowles.com. As the season progresses, you guys will definitely be seeing me style a lot of these pieces more. And y'all, I am so excited for fall fashion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you a little bit later.